On Saturday, January 12th, Burlington's very own Stan Anderson Jr. stepped into his blue suede shoes once again to pay tribute to Elvis Presley. The event was held at the American Legion, complete with a raffle prize to go with the swingin' musical throwback performance, and served as a fundraiser for one of the town's biggest events of the year, the 4th of July Parade. It takes months of preparation to put together such a big annual event for the town. Co-chair Mike Runyon and committee liaison Nick Priest say that the parade wouldn't be possible without the help of their many great sponsors. It's about the 4th of July Committee and the American Legion who is, you know, our biggest and best sponsor uh, in terms of, you know, the support that they give us. You know, we just try to figure out what, what the plan is going to be. And, uh, you know, we have such a strong community. You know, we always say, uh, you know, that the, the 4th of July Parade is you know, a committee by the people for the people of Burlington. The parade itself couldn't happen without all of you. But we'd be nowhere without our sponsors because it does cost us quite a bit of money to, to put on all these events. Yeah, it's a community event and it's supported by the community and the businesses in the community. The month of January was also a good time for Stan Jr. to make his appearance at the Legion, as this is the month where the king of rock and roll would have celebrated his 74th birthday. Stan uh, actually came to us, Stan and Anderson, who does the show. January 8th is Elvis Presley's birthday, and so he contacted us and said, uh, Hey, Mike, would you, you know, we'd like to celebrate uh, Elvis's birthday. Was the 4th of July committee interested in uh, having me back again uh, earlier? We had him in May last year, closer to the parade, but uh, I said, Yeah, sure, we'd be happy to have you. So it sort of fell in our laps, and we're you know, happy to have him back again. For many years, Stan Jr. has stepped into the persona of other highly talented musicians of the era, but the King himself stood out from the rest. I always did impersonations of different people, uh, Johnny Cash, Tom Jones, uh, Elvis. When he passed away, everybody started calling the office and um, they started saying, hey, you know, like, why don't Stan put together a tribute to Elvis? And, uh, you know, and that's really, that's how it, the ball got started. It started rolling, and it was like a snowball. It started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I uh, started traveling all over the country, and we had a bus at the time and live band. Finally, the 4th of July committee is always welcoming new members and volunteers to help prepare for the parade in many different ways. There's always something that makes this Burlington tradition even more memorable each year. And small fundraisers such as Stan Jr.'s Elvis tribute, kick off preparation to a good start. I would do anything to help my town. I mean, I, I grew up here. I had a lot of great times here. Uh, and uh, in the audience, there was a lot of uh, friends that I hadn't seen for a while. So it was really fantastic to see them all again and um, to help out the American Legion and raise some money for their 4th of July parade. The 4th of July committee has been doing uh, this rendition of the parade for about five years now. And um, you know, every year it gets stronger, every year we get better, and you know, uh, we rely on the support of the people. And you know, it's important for everyone in Burlington to know that um, you know, the amount that it takes to produce the parade, both in finance and uh, time and efforts, only a portion of that comes from the town of Burlington. Uh, the rest of it comes from the people of Burlington. And so we always look for as much support from the community as we can. From the American Legion, I'm John Vias for B News Weekly.